I took the year from year 11 to year 20 and then reduced them down, down, down until I go to the age that is more than 70 years, 70 and more. And even among 70 and more years, we had only one female and one male. And for them, they were as cases of armed robbery. And that was, they were shot on the chest, which of course, as, as the, 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 the interview continues or progresses, you realize that there are certain group of deaths or injuries that will be related. Either the person was intentionally killed or sometimes uh, more or less like a suicider sort of. So the, the highest incidence of death occurred between age 21 to 40 years. And that's the workforce of every, every country. So basically, you, the, that is really something that really got into my, my heart. And I said, I know this one, something must be done about it. Um, most of them, you could see, especially the type of pellets that were retrieved from these type of uh, those who died through gunshot wounds. You realize that most of them were, the pellets were not the type of pellets that were meant for these Western type of guns. Especially, you can see some of the pellets looking at uh, the size of the pellet and then the nature of the pellet when they were subjected to forensic, uh, that's a ballistic examination, you will realize, it was realized that most of them were coming from, the, I mean the pellets were coming from local, locally manufactured what, guns. You understand? So basically that is where the, the fear and that is where the, the worry is when it comes to these type of uh, gunshot wounds in, 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 in Ghana. You know, they will tell you that it's part of its business and they don't manufacture them purposely for people to be um, to use in such a um, wrongful manner. But what we do is that they should be educated to make sure that those they sell their arms to, probably they register them if it is possible, they get them registered, they get them some form of um, education for those who are going to buy their arms.